Virgos. Hey, my love, love, lovies. Welcome back to another video. This is your daily message for today. I miss y'all today. Virgos, say my loves. Hey, hey, my loves. Hey, hey, my loves. Sing it with me one time. Sing Virgos, say my loves. Hey, my loves. What is going on? So my soul tribe, my family, let's see what spirit has for you today. I hope everybody's doing well. Thank you so much for your likes, shares, and subscribes, your warm and loving comments, all your donations and purchases and everything you do for me in our channel. Thank you guys. And thank you for being over there on our sister channel, keeping it lit. Okay. Let's go ahead and see what spirit wants to tell you today. Holy spirit, holy angels. Ancestors and spirit guides for my Virgos. Thanks for giving us messages of clarity, truth, love, and light, abundance and overflow, victory in every situation. And thank you for blocking and bonding all negative energy, entities, witchcraft, wickedness, anything that may be coming up against this channel or your divine will for our lives. Amen. Amen. And amen. Let's get it. Okay, something you don't see coming, a new start, a new beginning. Oh, the messenger. So a message is coming in, some news, a message, a fresh start. But this message is on its way to you. And for some of you, it may be somebody wanting to take away the confusion because this came in the reverse. And it's a gamble card. This could be a card of confusion or something requiring you to take a risk. Um, it was in the reverse. So I feel like maybe there's no risk here or I feel like there's no gambling. Maybe somebody wants to clear the air, make things clear to you or something like that with this gamble card upside down. Maybe it mean, it could also mean don't take chances. Let's see. One more on this. One more on this gamble card. What's the dice here for spirit? Show me. Okay. So you got to be taking, you're going to be take, taking a chance. You know, because that's what this card is talking about. But this is saying taking a chance. Um, you have options here. A choice. You know, trying to figure out which door to take. This door is open. This door is almost closed. This door has a lot of sun, happiness, good things going on. So what door are you going to choose? All right. It looks like you have two options or more than one option. Okay. Um, and this message is coming in. So somebody's going to send you a message. All right, and you could have been waiting for this message, a telegram, some kind of mail or something like that that you've been waiting for, and you're going to get it. Somebody's getting a letter in the mail, so I wrote you a letter. Um, and then some of you are going to get this unexpected message, but the writer card definitely is talking about a message being delivered, also talking about a new start. So, the scythe. So, this is talking about cutting out all the confusion, so maybe somebody doesn't want you to feel like you're taking a risk with them maybe somebody wants to clear the air with you somebody is the but the ball is in your court right now you have control of what goes on so i feel like the ball is in your court right now virgo regarding this situation with this um that's risky you know or maybe it's like a game of chance you don't really know what to expect from this person or this thing so yeah but this talks about um, minor setbacks, little difficulties coming into play. Um, something here that could be, it's, so it's a message that you could be getting some kind of news that could cause a bit of confusion. Um, or it's just, yeah, it's something, something eating away at something. Or minor nuisances trying to put a damper on this good luck, good news, good opportunity, or something like that. So it's something small. But it's still something that causes confusion. Something that keeps trying to cause problems. I feel like it's somebody that could be keep trying to annoy you. Somebody getting in the middle of something. Just annoyances. Something gnawing away at something. Some could really be getting on your nerves. Causing you problems and stress here. Just being a nuisance. Alright. Mice are a nuisance. And they keep chewing away at something until it's ruined. So I feel like you could be dealing with that. Somebody just constantly doing something, pushing you, pushing you until it's ruined. You can't push anymore. All right. But there is good coming out of this situation. Um, I feel like your energy is pure. You're protected. You got a lot of divine um, energy around you and spirits of protection. Okay. Ancestors and your gods. So that energy is big around you. Okay. So you do have that help bringing into fruition what this is you want. 
this good luck, good fortune, good opportunity, um, money coming in, but this is just things going in your favor. Okay, so you do have that assistance here. Okay, let's see what else Spirit wants you to know. Let's see what else is going on in your energy. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit Guides for my Virgos. Hey, my lovies. Show Virgo what they're dealing with right now. What is this? Real quick, I want to get some cards and put out a couple cards on this because I want to know what this is. Before I pull out another set of situations, let's find out. See if we can find out a little bit about what this is right here. Spirit, can you clarify this message for us, please? Show us a little more about what this is. What is this energy? Show me. Show me the door, the staircase for Virgo. Yeah, somebody um juggling or somebody's trying to make a decision. Um, somebody has more than one option. Somebody could be trying to juggle both. Or you're trying to weigh your options and see which one you want. It's like, well, this one is shinier. This one is bigger. I don't know. So it looks like it's going to be a need for you to compare. All right. Show me the dice. Why is the dice here? Wow. All right. So somebody needs to be picking a new home. It's time to look for a new house. Or you're thinking about a relationship and you're trying to figure out exactly who you want to be in a relationship with. Um, when is the best time to go and see somebody or somebody's thinking about when the best time is to go and see you. But I feel like this could be, um, somebody wanting to take a chance on somebody and try to go forward, um, toward them about this relationship. Somebody here could be thinking about coming toward you when they know that they're in a relationship. Show me one more card for this. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. Somebody sees you as a good opportunity. Somebody feels like the wheel is turning in their favor. And they're weighing their options, trying to figure out exactly what they want to do here. Show me the messenger. What's coming in? What message is coming in for Virgo? Wow. Some kind of confusion. Somebody sneaking, trying to get away with something. So it looks like, yeah, you could have found out that somebody was trying to juggle you. Getting you to come down this path, but they're trying to juggle you. Um, this is going to be confusion because you're finding out that somebody is trying to sneak away with something or get away with something. I feel like there's other people in the picture or somebody else in the picture and this person is going to try to hide that. Or somebody's in their head mentally thinking about, hmm, because it looks really tempting here. They really want to come towards you, but they're trying to think if they should. They're wondering, confused about how you knew what they were going to do or would you know. For somebody here, I think you knew that they were sneaking around and they it, it really confused them. They're trying to figure out how you knew that they had somebody. And if you sent them a message or they're going to be sending you a message confused, wanting to know how did you know that. All right, I feel like you found out something about somebody. Yeah, some of you got a reading. Some of you just read them on your own. You're intuitive. Some of you just knew. Yeah. Show me the 10. What's the scythe card here for? Oh, hmm. can't trust this person. Somebody's going to be trying to sweet talk you, try to manipulate a situation. And they already have somebody. And you're going to see right through this. Somebody also could be trying to do spell work to bring you in or to block you. Um, somebody could be bitter that you're moving forward, jealous that you're doing well without them. Anything like that. But somebody is wishing for you to have confusion, for your good luck to be slowed down. They want you to not be successful. Yeah. Yeah. Feel like you're moving on the calmer waters away from this person and their negativity or their foolishness because you're, you're like, I don't really want to talk to you because I know that you have somebody. Or you're trying to lie and cause me confusion or I don't feel like arguing. I'm not going to be arguing with you. And even if they didn't try to argue with you, you know how you feel about it. Look, and here this is right here. You're moving away from these, this issue, these lies, this, you know, them hiding and sneaking, you know that they have something to hide because they showed you. You could feel it when this person talks to you or just how they're moving. You could tell that they're sneaky, trying to get away with it, trying to get away with something. I feel like it's trying to get away with talking to you. Somebody sneaking around 
on their person trying to talk to you. So you're moving away from all this behavior, all of this negative energy that's going to just keep you stuck. All right. Moving on to common water. Show me the mice. Why is the mice card here? The devil. This devil energy could be a Capricorn, but it's some type of toxicity. Somebody could be wishing bad luck on you, anything like that. Somebody's just evil. They're upset and they're trying to cause you problems. Somebody is mad that you're leaving them behind, that you're not chasing behind them. They're pissed off. And for some of you, it could be a Capricorn. But this Capricorn is in this toxic energy. This Capricorn has issues here. They know that they have somebody. They want to come towards you. They really like what they see. They have, they've been thinking about you since they saw you, since they met you or whatever. They keep thinking about you. But you see right through this person. They're confused too. They're going to be... So you're going to talk to this person or maybe you already have and they showed you that they were shocked that you knew. But some of you, you're going to know that they're with somebody. So you're going to be like, I already know that you're with somebody. You don't have to try to keep hiding it or whatever. You're going to tell them and they're going to be shocked. So they see you as good news. They see you as a good opportunity. And they really want to come towards you. But they feel defeated. They, You have this innocence about you, this very pure energy about you, even though you're not to be played with. And they see that. And this person's turned on by that. They really like that. Mm. They feel defeated. Wow, I see a queen of pentacles here. Yeah, found out that somebody was a manipulator, possibly. This could be my king of pentacles. Um, trying to make things work with the queen of pentacles, also. Um, this is a Virgo here, trying to make something work with the Taurus of Virgo or Capricorn. Um, but the tower fell down because this was built on lies. This person is a manipulator and you know it and it's the end. You're making an end. You're ending it. And I feel like the hermit was shining a light on all this. Look at you. It's like, you know, you knew this. Yeah. So yeah, you're ending it because you see that this is another karmic situation and you don't want to get involved in that. If you were to go down this path, it would just be a lover situation. Nothing serious. Something to keep you stuck. Look, and so you're leaving it out in the cold. I feel like you already knew that. Mm -hmm. So that's for somebody here. Let's put this to the side. But yeah, you, it looks like you're trying to avoid the tower moment with the five of the, the, six, the five of swords. I mean the six of swords. Trying to move past it. All right, let's see what else comes out. Spirit Show Virgo, what other energies are surrounding them at this time regarding this hidden agenda and this, this toxic energy? What's going on with this Capricorn energy? Or what's going on? What does uh, Virgo need to know? Show me clearly what does Virgo need to know. Time to let go. Time to take care of yourself. Pampering. Taking care of yourself. Time to recharge. It's over. No more drama. No more stress. Time to live again. Luxury suite. Time for somebody to take a vacation. Somebody wants to spend the night with you. Wow. Ooh. Forever love. What the heck? Somebody really wants to spend some time with you and get close to you. But I feel like this person is trying to figure out what they want to do. Maybe they're in a relationship with this four, four of wands card. They're thinking about stability, but some of them could be with somebody else. They're hiding it. Or they're um, being shy. They're not showing you what they're doing. But from the looks of it, it looks like they may be hiding the situation. Um, and when you talk to this person, you're going to mention something. And they're going to want to know how you knew that. Okay? This person likes you a lot, whoever this is. But look, snake in disguise. Uh-uh-uh. Starting over in the reverse. Somebody wants to take you to a hotel or take you out. Maybe you guys used to go to a hotel. But somebody wants to take you out. Look, and they're pretending like you're their forever love. But look, snake. And then social media. So you could have met this person online. Let's clarify these cards. You're special. Somebody's saying you're special. Um, somebody's a show off. They like to show off their money. But this person's in a relationship. All right. So this person really wants to come towards you. They want to take you out. Yeah, they really do. Let's use the tarot and see what's going on here. Let 
let's use these. Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, Ancestors and Spirit Guides for my Virgo. Show me why letting go is here for Virgo. Letting go of whatever you, which you invested in. If you feel like you invested in this situation, but it's a loss, the empty investment. Feel like you you want to see things grow. I feel like a lot of you are investing in yourself with this Seven of Pentacles energy because things are slowly but surely getting better and better. All right, and you can get with this. It's like you're embracing this. You love what's happening in your life, how it's turning around for you. All right, so you can get with this. Pampering. We got three of wands here. Self-love, treat yourself. Take yourself out on a date. Go travel. Look, this person is on vacation or at a beach or something like that. So it's time for you to do something nice for yourself. It's time for you to take a break. Recharge, emotionally, physically drain, checked out, exhausted, energy vampire. Somebody wants to drain your energy possibly. This person really wants to come towards you. Look, it's somebody from the past that also wants to come towards you. Um, or somebody, yeah, somebody that you knew when you were younger. But this person wants to come towards you. They want to leave their responsibilities behind and come and see what's up with the Virgo. Luxury suite, show me. <laughs> Dang, betrayal. Yep, spend the night together. I want to spend time with you. Fireworks hot and heavy. Ten of swords, all right? So I feel like this person lied. Some of y'all, they led you on just to get a reaction to see if you would do it. Some of you, they betrayed you because that's all they want. Forever love. Show me clearly. And this is somebody you met online. Wow. So I feel like here, this is saying trust. This is the one spiritual connection, contentment, putting in the effort. So this is how you felt. But now you have clarity. What do you have clarity about? That this person is talking to other people. No, wait, wait. So this person from the past that, that this person, somebody wants to come back to you from the past. They want to start over, okay? But I feel like this person betrayed you. And you already know what they have to offer. It's not much, okay? They juggled this situation with, and they were married or something like that. Somebody's married, four wands again. And they're a juggler. The same cards came out. Um, you thought this was your forever love. This person made you so happy, but then you found out that they were talking to somebody else. Why six of coins here? Yeah, you found out this person was a cheater. Could be a fire sign. They want to come towards you. Snake in disguise. You're like, I'm sick of you. It's over. Like, you come around here. You're just going to get your feelings hurt because I don't want this. All right? With this snake in disguise, you ended it with that snake. And then starting over in the reverse, they're coming back. Huh? With empty promises and you're not falling for it. King of Wands, you won't be starting over with this person. Got a water sign that wants to come back also. Ten of Pentacles, vaca um, vacation, vacation. So definitely somebody is going to vacate. Somebody wants to take you on a vacation, just the two of you. Ten of Pentacles, this could be a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Somebody really likes your vibes. They know you're worth it. They want to pay for things, you know. It could be a male or a female, but they like you a lot. They want to do something special for you. But this person is already involved. This person is in a relationship, possibly married. So they're already involved with somebody, but they really want to come towards you. Um, and I feel like they're they feel betrayed. I mean, it's the Ten of Swords because if you let them take you out to a luxury suite or something like that, you don't know that they have another person and they're not going to tell you. But you're going to figure it out. All right. Some of you already figured it out, but you're going to figure it out with your intuition and watching how they move and everything. And you're going to call it out. That's going to shake this person up. They're going to be so nervous to know how, how do you know their plan? How do you know what they were going to do? And how did you know that they were involved? Hermit. It's because you can see spiritual wisdom, the hermit, enlightened, intuitive, em empath, like you could see. Yeah, but this person here is realizing it's a missed opportunity to talk to you. Um, they're realizing that because you know too much. They know you can read them, you feel it, you know. So this person is saving their self the embarrassment. <laughs> yeah. 
but this is definitely a situation that could have led to some type of love or there is love here um and i see this um leo energy or the strength card spirit is telling you just to be strong at this time while you're dealing with this situation somebody you have to leave somebody out in the cold because you found out that they were a karmic for some for a queen of pentacles here right and I got my king of pentacles or king of wands energy. But I see you being ambitious and bold. And you're cutting off a situation that no longer serves you. So that's perfect. That's good energy to be in Virgo. I'm proud of you. Alright. So continue to use your intuition to read these people. And don't let these people just come in and wreak havoc over your life. Look, this doesn't even belong in there. It's the six of swords. Mental clarity. Seeking harmony. And transition. So that's what's happening right now for you in this connection. All right, guys. I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here with me. I appreciate all you do once again. And I have a couple more readings to do and then I'm going to bed. So I hope you guys have a good night too. I will see you later. Bye. My lovies.